Hi Sagittarius, so today I'm going to be going you guys these general love readings. These are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Thank you for still being here with me as I get these readings out. I'm going to be more consistent on this channel. I need to start getting more frequent videos out. But if you have not been... um keeping up with my links i've been on instagram a lot so if you want extra messages they'll be on instagram all the links will be in the description box below thank y'all so much for all your support i love you guys so much so let's see what do we have for love for sagittarius sun moon rising and or venus here guys please give me clear honest messages for the back to sagittarius sun moon rising and or venus signs i'm hearing cold you could be cold it could be winter or it could be cold where you are. I'm here in spring. So some of you guys could have been born in December. Or some of you guys could have been born in the springtime. Um, around. Hmm. Some of y'all could have been born in January. So there could be Capricorns and Aquariuses as well. Or you have those placements. Spirit guides. What do you have for... Ooh. Ace of Swords. Truth and clarity. This is all about truth and clarity. I definitely feel like you may have received some type of um, information here. It could have cleared up some type of clarity you may have needed to know with the sword being here. And then you see the king's crown. So you could have received some type of clarity about a male energy or a masculine energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be a male energy. I definitely feel like either you received some type of clarity or this person may have received some type of clarity here. Um, I'm seeing there's somebody here that is very attractive. This person is a go-getter. They go after what they want. They really do. Um, they are very passionate um, here, but they camouflage a lot as well. So this is somebody that um, they hide. They can um, blend in. And so I feel like this person has been wanting to communicate to you or has been want you could be in contact with this person for some of you. Um, I feel like this person is a very honest person. Um, they're a leader. They take the lead. So when they do want something, they go after it. I feel like this person has been thinking about you a lot. So because there's somebody here that has been thinking about you or they've been wanting to come towards you, they've been wanting to say something to you, but they're in the king energy of wand. So this means that this person could be very busy or they have other things to pay attention to. So this could be somebody who you may not be around all the time. Um, I'm definitely seeing this person does see the truth about you. They see that you're very determined, very passionate, very honest. You, you're you very hopeful here. And this is somebody who sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. I can see that. I can see that. Somebody stays up at night thinking about you, Sagittarius. Um, they can't get you off their mind. This is somebody who's not saying what they have on their mind. But with the purple being here, there's feelings here. Because that's all about the crown chakra. Um, so somebody has been thinking about you a lot. They've been thinking about you um, in a loving way here. And I feel like you've been under a lot of pressure since you've received some type of clarity about this person. Um, you've been really um, carrying a lot of pressure on you. And I feel like this person here communicating to you or coming towards you kind of brought some type of tension to you. Um, I see there's somebody here that really thinks you're very beautiful. They see how independent you are. They see you growing. They see you flourishing. Some of you guys can live, like, in an isolated area or you really want to. Like, I'm saying for some of y'all, y'all live in, like, a field or you have a farm. You get to grow things wherever this place is. Some of y'all are living, like, really in the... I'm here in the south or in the countryside. Like, for some of y'all, that's confirmation. Like, you... um you live in a gated community. For some others of you, you live in a gated community. Others of you live in a nice home, but it's like isolated or the houses are separated. They're not very close together. Okay, um, I'm seeing there's somebody here who they don't want to just rush in and say anything to you, but they have a lot to say to you. This is somebody that really has a lot to say to you, but they've been thinking a lot and they've been trying to plan how they will say this. 444, they're gonna try to plan how they would say this. I'm seeing there's somebody here that, um, 
I don't know if this person lied about something or I don't know if this person, you just don't know enough about this person. Um, I'm seeing there's a page of swords energy here. Somebody could have spread it lies or rumors about you or about this person. Like, I feel like um, somebody may have gossiped a lot or something like that. Um, I don't know if this person lied to you or they got a jealous or they made impulsive moves here the king of wands is also like a player type of energy and i'm seeing the ten of pentacles here so i feel like some of you guys could have received some type of news that really um caused a lot of pressure on you not really a lot but it kind of weighed on you a lot it did this whatever this is it weighed on you a lot and i feel like there's somebody here who could be in a relationship like a committed relationship and they are watching you because they see how independent you are. They see you're nurturing, you're flourishing, you're beautiful. This is somebody who truly has their eyes for you, but they also have a relationship here. Um, maybe they lied about being in a relationship or maybe they, I don't know what this is. I feel like somebody made a lot of imp impulsive um okay so there's somebody who's in a relationship okay um they were expressing something to you or they were really giving you a lot of attention they were really admiring you and things like that and then things just kind of like shook up like changed overnight and the mask that this person was wearing was that this person was in a committed relationship. But maybe this person came off as a single person. And maybe be when this person was hurt or maybe when they got into arguments with their person, could be a younger person, they would come and make impulsive moves or come towards you. Um, that's wild. That is very wild. And I feel like you may not be talking to this person right now because... This person wants to say something to you. So I'm saying like maybe um, things may have changed or things may have happened to where it's like you may not be in contact with this person or you just seen this person's mask come off. You see this person for who they truly were. This person was playing a lot of mind games with you or manipulating the situation. Um, I definitely feel like this person will always come toward you or communicate with you. Um, this person will go through temporary separations. So I'm seeing like an on and off connection. This person has a on and off relationship with whoever they're in a relationship with. So it's like when they separate from this person, they may come to you or something like that. But they're actually in a committed relationship. And they may have lied about it. Or they may have not actually fully let this person go. But I'm telling y'all right now, this person has been watching you. And they have their eyes on you. And they have been trying to be patient because they do want to come in and say something to you. But they can't just make any irrational decisions here. Okay? They can't just make any rational decisions here. I definitely feel like you could have retracted your energy back. This could have been somebody you flirted with or something like that. But you definitely don't... Um, you wouldn't willingly put yourself in a third party situation because you know that would hurt you too much. So I definitely feel like you could have decided to separate from this person, go within. It kind of blindsided this person when you just stopped communicating or stopped responding. But it's like at the same time, you're going to take this as a rejection because you're not going to allow yourself to third will or get into anyone else's connections. You've been so shut off recently, you know, you've been shut off. You've been at a crossroads, you know, you for a long time, you stopped giving your attention to people because you don't want to deal with people who weren't committed or weren't loyal. And then it's just like this person came along and this person was like everything you could possibly want in a man like this is a king of pentacles in the emperor like this person is really a hard working loyal 
faithful, reliable person. This person can tame themselves. This person can be tempted, but they're not easily tempted. They won't just fall into temptation because they have structure, because they respect themselves. They respect themselves enough to watch you from a distance. They expect them respect themselves enough to not say too much, but just give you enough. I definitely feel like there's a lot that this person does not say as well. There's a lot that this person thinks about. And this person is a leader. So I know that they've been hurt so many times with the red being here. They've been hurt so many times. So they want to protect themselves. I definitely feel like you finding out. You could have found out that this person was involved with someone. And you released them. You let them go. You um, put a blockage on a situation. Because it's like regardless of how you feel. You just don't want to involve yourself with someone who's already connected to somebody. And I feel like... You feel that you may actually share a connection to this person, but this person could be in a commitment already. And it's like, so I feel like when it comes to you, this person, they don't really, they wouldn't sleep with you. Not unless they're single. They wouldn't just come in and sleep with you. Like, this is somebody that actually respects themselves. So, like I said, this is not going to be somebody that's going to deceive their partner. But they're going to watch you. They're going to observe you. Because at the same time, it's like... I mean, you know the saying, like... And it's very... It's, it should be normalized because a lot of people do it. You know, like, some people who... They're going to allow their relationship to work if they've been together for a long time. Then there's some people that's going to cheat. This is not somebody that's going to cheat on their partner because they're too loyal. Okay? They're loyal. But it's like this person sees something in you, Sagittarius, and it's really hard for this person to stay away from you. Like, they, they're they not fully investing in you, and you may feel abandoned by this person because you may feel like you actually, you're good on your own. You never needed this person. But it's just like, you know, you've waited for a love that was equal, that was fair to you. And I feel like you may have felt like this connection just happened too fast or like it was just moving too fast i definitely feel like you are the empress sagittarius you are literally glowing you are expanding this is crazy this is crazy You cannot see, you are so stuck in this situation. You don't know what to do. You don't want to be put in a third party situation. You don't. But you're kind of in a third party situation. And it's not because you chose to be. It's because you may have actually developed feelings for this person. And you were lying to yourself about it for a long time. But this could hurt all three parties involved. Which is why you found out the truth about this person. You retracted your energy. And you could be thinking about this person a lot. Let me just tell you something. This person is in a relationship. And they're committed to their person. You are committed to yourself. But this person... And I don't know how it happened. It literally shocks me to see this. What the hell is this? Like, that I needed to see this card. The Wheel of Fortune. You were meant to meet this person. And I know it sounds crazy because they're in a relationship. You don't homewreck, so you're not a homewrecker. You were meant to be in this person's life, Sagittarius. This person is destined to be with you. You and this person were meant to meet. Y'all were meant to connect. You were meant to be one because this is your other half this is your twin flame and this person 
is in a relationship and you're focusing on yourself so you're both committed to yourselves in a way you're committed this person's actually committed to somebody but you're committed to yourself um and the truth is you and this person were meant to meet you were destined to cross paths you may not be in a relationship right now or it's not time yet because this person's in involved with somebody. But you were meant to meet this person. This person was meant to meet you. They were meant to meet you. <sighs> Sagittarius. This person has feelings that they are suppressing for you. And it's crazy. They are holding back. And you are holding back. But they are holding on to you. This person has their eyes on you. I'm telling you right now. It's like they are. They're not in. They're not married to anybody. But they are in a committed relationship. So this is not somebody that's married. Okay. It's just not time for you two to come together. Because a relationship can't come from this. Oh. And Spirit Guides is also telling me. Y'all not in a relationship. Neither one of you two people are committed to each other, but you were meant to be in each other's life. You want to know why? Because the two of you are just so much alike in the same way. You were both sent here to heal each other in a, in a way. And there's just a lot of changes. I definitely feel like there's been a lot of changes here. But I'm seeing somebody like... This person watches you all the time. They know that you're good on your own, but they literally watch you all the time. They have something they want to get off their mind and they want to tell you. But it's like they're disappointed. I feel like this person, like I said, they go through breakups and then they make up. They break up, then they make up, you know? So it's like you're not going to just involve yourself with this. I definitely feel like this person has been hurt a lot. And in a way, they're still, they still have more lessons they need to learn. But I'm seeing like this person has been watching you and you're very defensive you standing your ground you set boundaries but this person has been watching you like let me show you do you see this like the way the cards were this man goes above and then she was below so it's like he's watching this person constantly constantly watching you constantly watching you and this person has so much they want to say but they don't say it and i feel like it's caused a lot of changes for the two of you guys because this person either they have a lot they want to say to you they have a lot they want to say to you and i feel like this person is they are listen listen i don't like this because i'm not all about the cheating and the infidelity or anything like that sagittarius okay but this male energy the male cannot keep their eyes off of you it's not you because you're exactly you're silent you're not talking you're trusting your intuition you pulled your energy back you are not communicating with this person but this person keeps watching you this person's watching you observing you this person has their eyes set on you even if they are in a commitment if their relationship does not work out if they were to separate from their spouse they will come to you they will come to you because you are destined in a way to be with this person with the will of fortune here there's going to be so many changes so many changes this is your twin flame and you know when you deal with a twin flame you're going to have so many people separating the two of you guys. So many people is not going to approve of this relationship between the two of you guys. But you are both destined to be together. Whoever this person is to you. You are destined to be with this person. You are destined. And you know this. You've received clarity. You've kept everything you knew about the situation to yourself. You didn't tell a lot of different people. They would have looked at you like a fool because they don't understand the spiritual connection to things. I definitely feel like you've been going within and you've been soul searching and you've been doing what's in your best interest. I feel like you've been really, you're about to start getting good karma here. You know, you're about to start getting good karma because you are isolating yourself and you're doing what's right. You did the right thing by isolating yourself from this person. Even if they are in a relationship, you don't fall into temptation. You don't. You don't. 
and it may have been painful to you, but it's like at the same time, it's the truth. And you having self-control, you controlling yourself, it only allowed changes in this person's life, not yours. Because once you found out, you released this person instantly. Moved on. There is no rebuilding. But with this person, this person ain't done with you. They're not done with you. They they watch you. They watch you constantly. Like, I don't know why they watch you, but they watch you constantly. Because this person has a very close connection to you. Like, a very close connection to you. And it's like... They could have a choice between two lovers. This person is very close. They they do, I'm not going to lie to you, they do have feelings for their person. But Sagittarius, this person also has feelings for you. I don't know if, how this is going to work out, but I'm seeing this. Yes, and I feel like this person could have lied a lot about how they felt and stuff like that. Because this is a very, this is a very um, tough situation. Like, very tough. But Sagittarius, like, you are so beautiful to this person. You are glowing. You are a goddess. You know, you are a goddess. You are literally to die for. You are that gift here. You retracted your energy. You ignored this connection. You ignored this person. But it only made this person... Huh? Yes, I definitely see this person has feelings for you. And it's crazy. And I feel like it's really because they know that their relationship that they're in, and I hate to say it, but I'm seeing it. They know that the relationship that they're in They don't know if it's going to work out the way that they want it to. Like, they do love, and they've made a promise to their person. But it's like, at the same time, this person has really developed feelings for you, too. And I just, I don't know how this is going to go, but... There's a lot of competition for your love right now. I feel like there's some so many people that's really trying to compete for you. They are trying to compete for you. I feel like this person gets jealous when you flirt with other people, when you talk to other people. Like, I'm telling you. Because this person knows that they can't give you anything right now. They can't give you anything right now because they're under a lot of pressure, because they're dealing with somebody, because they're involved. But this person gets very jealous when you have other people in your energy or when you flirt with other people. It's very immature. Very immature. It's very immature because this person is avoiding doing the right thing, you know? So they just get jealous and they think that holding on to you is going to do any better to the situation. But I truly feel like you may have completely ended this situation with this person because you don't homework you know you love yourself more and you know at the end of the day this person cannot give you what you want emotionally regardless of how much hmm? what the fuck okay for some of you you know this person can't give you what you want emotionally. This could be some of you guys in a relationship and you're separating from your baby father or you're trying to make it work with this person. But they just can't. They can't give you what you want emotionally. This person could be an alcoholic or they got a lot of addictions, a lot of energy, um, low vibrational energy, and you just don't got time for that. You could have kids with this person, two boys, for some of you, a girl and a boy, or just one kid. You're going to always be tied to this person, but it's like... You want someone new. For others of you, this person could be with somebody. But it's like, emotionally, why is this person, sh they watching you. Do you see what I mean? Like, the person that they're with is in love with them, right? And you're just not dealing with this person's games anymore. But look at how they keep watching you. Like, they, they won't stop watching you, even when they're with their person. They think about you all the time. They just won't stop watching you. I don't know what you did to this person. They feel like you put a spell on them. But it's like they're really trying to reevaluate it. They current circumstances and your circumstances. Because this person really does view you as wish fulfillment. And they don't want you to walk away. 
But you know, at the same time, you, you can't live a double life. Like, it's not possible. You have to make a decision. You have to do what you have to do. This person could, they could realize that their relationship that they're in is with a karmic energy. And they don't want to let this person go because they're codependent on this person. Because they've been with this person for a long time, so they're trauma bonding. You know? Trauma bonding. But they've had good times and happy memories with this person. But it's also been bad times. And there's also been pain in this situation. And so it's like at the same time, you know, this person has a very huge choice that they need to make. Or decision that they need to make. And I feel like you already separated yourself from the equation. So it's really this person lying to themselves about what they truly want. Because they could be in an unhappy situation for a long time. Or they can do what makes them happy. So I'm seeing those still. This person does get jealous when you have other people around you. When you because you're single, you can be around anybody you want to be around. You don't have your uh, any ties to anyone. But this person gets so upset when you're investing in other people because they just know that right now, right person, wrong timing. Right person, wrong timing. Okay. And that's causing a lot of pressure for this person because they get very jealous of the attention you get. Like they don't like these people talking to you because they feel like they found their other half. But when you find your twin flame, oh, that connection is crazy. So let's see, what's the outcome for this situation? We just gonna get one card for the outcome. I'm here to make a decision. This person needs to make a decision. Yeah. I do see this person is going to try to come in and say something. They're going to try to act quickly. But it's like, they look at this thing. They're like sad. I feel like this person was always very hot and cold. But you may have just decided to like isolate yourself or go within. Because you may feel like you still need more healing here. You have a lot of anxiety, a lot of doubt, a lot of worry. And you could be holding back your energy, trying to... you. I'm saying right now, Sagittarius, you guys are focusing on your money. You're holding back, focusing on your money. This person wants to say something to you. I feel like they're kind of sad. They are going to try to come in and say something to you, but you're not focusing on that. You've blocked this person. You're focusing on your independence. You're focusing on your stability right now. And if you felt like you had an attachment to this person, you're releasing that attachment because what you're focusing on right now is you and your stability. This person is still <laughs> attached. <laughs> like, seriously. They're giving to somebody else. They're not tempted, but they are watching you. So just know that they are watching you. Since you've released yourself from this person, they've been watching you still. Like, they, they are still watching you. I don't know why. Don't ask me. This person, <laughs> why? Because they wish things could be different. They wish things could be different. Okay, so let's see. What does this person want to say to Sagittarius? Before we close this out, gave y'all a little lengthy video. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, of course. This person is afraid to contact you. They're afraid to reach out to you because, come on now. I mean, they, this situation is like very, very, um, it's very complicated. Literally, this is a very complicated situation because I do feel like there is feelings involved here. But it's just like, you know, there's a third party and you can't be that third party, you know? Yeah, see, this is somebody that wants to be more than friends. They definitely want you bad like this person wants you but they're not available and they feel you leaving them behind they are so attracted to you so basically everything i said and so many things are reminding this person of you they couldn't get close to you but they love you unconditionally and they cannot stop thinking about you what did i say what did i say what did i say you know you were a distraction from this person's pain, but they wouldn't feel that way again. Like I said, this person would come to you when they were hurt by their on and off again relationship. And since you've released your attachment to this person, they've been driving themselves a little crazy. They want to say so much to you, but they keep it to themselves. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave y'all clarity. I'll see y'all later. Have a beautiful day.